do another video. Today's video is going to be about haters. Haters are everywhere. When you're trying to get successful in life and get to a certain level in life, if you got the most high with you and the most high, the most high guy is elevating you, you're going to have haters. Because there's people out there that the only way they're going to be happy throughout their day is to hate on you, to talk down on you. And plus, when you're doing stuff for the most high, when you're making videos like the video I make, where you spread the word, then you can always have haters. Because Satan goes against the true believers. Satan is raging war against the true believers. And you're going to always have haters. You see, Christ himself had haters. So, what does that say for you? There's people out there that just won't get satisfied until they make your day miserable. There's people out there who are jealous because they see you and see how the most high is elevating your life. They see that you are out there working hard, putting putting in the grind, and actually getting somewhere in life. Whether you got a successful business, you're doing well financially, spiritually, health-wise, you're going to always have haters. Because the devil always comes against the believers. Joseph's brothers hated on Joseph. Because, and this was all really Jacob and them fault because Jacob was using favoritism. But Jacob, but um, Joseph's brothers were so jealous of uh, Joseph that they really sold him to slavery. They even thought about killing him, but one of the brothers said, no, we're not going to kill him. We're going to sell him off to slavery. I said, I'm sell him off somewhere else. But see, even when they sold Joshua off, even when they hated on Joshua, Joshua was still elevating. Joshua grew and ended up going up to one of the higher levels in Egypt and was leading and helping out Egypt because of the dreams he was having. And see, you see how that no matter what the devil throws at you, you always make it through because God, God always blesses you. So even when Joseph was going through all that hate, all that jealousy, God was still blessing him. When he was spending all his years in Egypt, God was still blessing him. God had favor on Joseph. And when God has favor on your life, you're gonna attract haters. When you're going, when you're going, when you're becoming successful in this life, you will attract haters. You will attract haters. Because haters don't want to see you succeed. If you got a business and it's doing successful, if you're doing financially well, health health wise, you're doing well, and spiritual wise, and you got a great relationship with the most high, you're gonna attract haters. Because the devil uses people to come against you because the devil hates it when you get close to the most high. See, haters don't have much better to do with their lives than to see you fall. See, most haters out here, you have to ignore them because haters, they feed off the attention you give them. The best thing you can do is pray for your haters and hopefully them haters will become soldiers for the most high. But a lot of times it's not like that. So I'm just going to keep on hating because they see you growing. Even when they see you going through trials and tribulations, you somehow get out of those trials and tribulations because you got the most high. And they wondering, how do you get out of that situation? Because he was in God's system. He was speaking and using God's system. See, when you're in God's system and not in this satanic worldly system, you start coming out of what man says is impossible. And that's going to cause people to wonder about you. Now, you're going to have a lot of people who are down for you, who support you, who are positive towards you. But then you're going to have people that are negative and are straight haters because they don't got nothing to do in their lives but hate. They don't got nothing to do but hate. You can have haters at your job. You can have haters in your own family. Just like Joseph. His brothers weren't supposed to be jealous. His brothers were supposed to show Joseph love. And they, they were all supposed to be showing each other love. But instead, they was jealous. And jealousy leads to hate. And haters 
One thing about haters is that they are never satisfied. That you got the most high, the most high deals with the haters. The haters fall on their own grief. Haters are mad because they see you elevating and they wonder why they stuck in the same place, why they can't get to where you at. Haters try to get in your lifestyle, try to get in your life and try to pull off what you're doing. So they can look up one day and say that, oh, I deserve the success they got, even though they ain't put no effort, they ain't put no work into it. Haters, spiritually, I'm about to be spiritual about it. Haters, the spirit of hating and the spirit of jealousy, that is nothing but demons. That is nothing but demons. Some people are controlled by demons. And then there's people out there who are not human. But back to what I was saying about haters, though. When you're being successful, when you speaking, when you having positive things happen to your life, yes, haters will hate. And see, when people are hating on you and you see that, you should take that as a motivation to get better, to reach your potential, to reach your greatness, and get to your greatness. That's what it's all about. See